Now let's take a look at how we can create a middleware inside this application. As you know, we already have the Redux store in this app. So using the Redux store, we can create our own middleware. When you click on this add employee, it's going to call the toggle change action. And I'm going to do the same when I click on this update button. But you can notice I need to click on this update button twice to get the result. Now I'm going to solve this problem. So just back to your application and inside the Redux store here, inside this folder, I'm going to create a new file. Name this file listener.js. That's about you. You can specify any name to this file. Here, I'm going to create a middleware. This middleware is listen to the toggle change action. So whenever you call this toggle change action, I'm going to call this update action. So I'm going to create this middleware inside this listener.js file. So here we need to first call the create listener middleware. So here I'm going to say import create listener middleware from Redux.js toolkit. And right down here, you need to import your action. So as you know, we have toggle change action in the reducer as well as I have update action. So I'm going to call both these actions inside this file. Right down here, you need to create middleware instance. So here you need to say constant listener middleware is equal to and then you specify the create listener middleware, something like this. So this is going to create an instance of this middleware. Just out of that, right down here, you need to call this listener middleware instance and then call the start listening function or you can say method. Inside this method, you pass an object and listen to the specific action. So we are listening to the toggle change action. So we specify here action creator, a property, and then specify the toggle change action to it. So whenever we call this toggle change action, I want to execute the callback function. Or you can say, I want to execute an effect. So we pass that effect as a second parameter right here. So we pass here effect, then specify function to it. And the function is going to be asynchronous. So we pass async function, something like this. And to this function, you can access two properties, action and listener API. Using this action parameter, you can get the payload. And using this listener API, you can dispatch an event. So inside this function, I'm going to say listener API dot dispatch. I'm going to call a dispatch function from this listener API and then specify the update action here and as you know to this update action we have a payload so we can access the payload using action dot payload that's it a very simple middleware is now ready let me just export this so we need to say here export default listener middleware save this file back to the store and here you need to configure this middleware so at the top you have to say import listener middleware from the listener file and just out of this reducer here you call a comma and then specify middleware and to this property you specify a function and inside this function you can get the default middleware so you can get here a property called get default middleware and using this parameter you can prepend or you can say combine your middleware with the redux middleware so you call here get default middleware call this function dot prepend inside this prepend you specify listener middleware dot middleware so we call our middleware here and call a property of it, which is middleware. So this statement is going to initialize our middleware. Let me save this file back to the project, reload it. And now when you click on this update button, it's not going to work. This is because in your listener, you're using toggle change action and you don't have any payload to the toggle change action. If you can check this table.js file, then you can notice to this toggle change action, we don't have any payload. We don't have any value here. So this property won't return anything to this update action. So what we have to do is inside this table, we need to specify here ID. So this ID is going to be passed to this action and then passed to this update action. Let me save this back to the project, reload it. And now when I click on this update button, you can see now the update button is working completely fine. I don't have to click on this update button twice. You can see. So I hope you understand how you can make a simple middleware inside the Redux store. Let's take a look at how you can update the values of this form.